All right, so today's the day that the three deers are gonna get looked at. And I gotta find the kits that we had for them three point, or the remotes. Bring it back when I find them. So I got everything here to do it. I think, so these two and these go on a 3010 that I lost. These aren't it. I know that. So let me go get us a tractor. But the only problem is we got three tractors to do today. Don't know if this will be enough or not. Then these are for the 3010. Just put them up there. I guess the low light does work on this thing. Uh, made some adjustments to it the other night and it works the low light works so i guess we'll start with this smaller 7200 um i'll show you guys that i know how to do this uh you take this whole stack here off and with these bolts uh, you take that off and then you can get to it uh both of these are bad when you go to plug them in they just pop right out so and dad he says that i don't release the take the pressure off of them well think about just putting them in float and seeing if that'll do it rather than starting stopping the thing and starting it when the motor's hot and hurting it and uh just everything else yeah you just take that bolt out there and uh away it comes off put a chalk behind the wheel they don't trust a park brake but yeah all you gotta do is just take these bolts out here and uh, this whole thing should come out without taking these lines off. You know what, now I look at this thing, it needs a bath before we work on it. This is, this is unacceptable. Um, yeah, with these, I don't get it. With these tires pushed in, it just, it throws mud and dirt and all that along the windows, which you would almost think that you would, it with the tires pushed in, it would help, you know, keep the mud off the side. But I can see where it don't help with the back window. It just, it, it the tire is right in line with that exhaust, if you look. I mean, look at that, right in line with the exhaust. So that tells you that it's gonna splatter against the back of the cab. We had to push the tires in to get um, to set up for the sprayer. This thing is so ever top heavy for mowing and stuff like that. But we're making, we make do with this tractor. Um, if it wasn't so darn dark out, I would back it out and wash it. You know what? Maybe I will. But I got hay to go put out while I forget just a little bit more daylight out. So, on with the show. So I'm kind of thinking about putting LEDs in this skid loader this winter. I know you gotta pull this front plate out here to pop the old headlights out. But I don't really want to uh, do it because I think that this machine throws enough light throws enough light out that you don't really need them I mean the only time that I think that you would really need them is 
like snow plowing and stuff, which, I mean, I don't know. It would be nice to have them, but I don't know. It'd definitely be easier on the alternator, I know, I can tell you that. Um, I don't know, I'm just throwing it out there to see if anybody has done a conversion like this. I uh, can't really put a light bar on this because it needs all the clearance it can get for like getting in the barn and that and we don't want to have to worry about something sticking up above the uh, cab and you can't really oh, you can't really go to the sides any with a light bar because of the loader arms they rub uh, the sides here but I think this thing throws enough light I don't know maybe or else maybe we'll just leave it the way it is could do that too guess I'll just take an air hose and blow it off instead of washing it and risking getting water in these plugs Not that, you know, this was dirty or anything. I just risk, I just worry about, you know, dropping stuff down here and getting it all dirty and stuff. That's my only concern. Three days now of rain. I mean, looky there. Yeah, look what's coming. And see what the weather channel says because we had thoughts on picking corn today. Not gonna happen. Uh, just great. Just great. Oh, I guess the radar w wasn't off. <laughs> I tell you what, that's the best. The best app is this one here. This my radar. Uh, friggin' rain. So for any of you that got to, that has to replace these uh, little, oh, these little dust caps, I get the chain on them, therefore the 4,000, 30, 30, 40, 30, 10, 30, 20, 4,000, 40, 10, 40, 20, 50, 20, I think, even the 60, 30 has these, and... They're just little dust, little dust covers here that go, that go behind, or on the remotes here that are leaking, um, are not leaking for the dust covers, and this little, little lip here, I don't know if you can see that, right where my finger is, right there, right where the light is. Uh, there's a little lip that these hook into to keep the chain to, yeah to keep the chain there so you don't lose them and they're gone so I don't know how much they were from John Deere but uh, they were a lot let me go over here and dig in this toolbox so I go open in another pack and just see if they're in there because I really don't know what happened to them so in other words, uh, the we're having to replace the remotes on the 7200. We got to do that tractor and this one here, 7800. Uh, 70, the, all these are the same. The only ones that are different are the 70 or the 8000 series. Um, this one, the top set does not work, and I think 
what we're having, what we are doing right now is, uh, oh, me and the mechanic are going through and just, uh, our mechanic, um, 7200, uh, this one here is not staying engaged or locked in. It, it wants to keep blowing the hydraulic hose out, but yet this side over here is staying in. Um, this side staying in, this side is blowing out. There's a spring in there. You take this out and there's a spring on the back side. You take it out. You got to be able to there's a snap ring. You take out, push the spring in over top of the, uh, the keeper that runs this thing and uh, be able to push that back in all together. And it is not fun. Not something I wanted to want to try doing myself. Um, but I can almost guarantee you that's what's wrong with this set. I don't know. We're going to leave this grain cart hooked up um, because it's just easier that way so we can try this top set and see what the heck's leaking. Um, we can just try it that way. The 7810, I'll walk over here and I'll show you. It's got the same, you know, I'll just go this way and try and not kill myself getting to it. Uh, this one, we're gonna have to get rid of this ripper because there's no, there's no way you can work in here with having to get out for tools and all that. It's gonna need blowed off. These things here are worthless. If anybody has the 7000, the 70 10 they put these stupid covers on here and they are so ever worthless because you gotta have them pulled back so darn far to get your hydraulic hose in that they're just a royal pain in the butt um i would have see that one's starting to come out or no i guess they're on there these are on there funny but uh the other seven the other two just you push them in and then pull right back out and the covers just go right over them i'm not really a fan of these i don't i they're all right but um they're just it is what it is i have to have to get rid of this thing because i cannot ooh, ooh, get back out of here <laughs> ooh, ooh, i'm stuck uh, i have to put these legs down here with these these are the landing legs. You just take these pins out um, that are right here. Just take them out with these keepers here. Pull the pin out over here and you put them down. You put the pin back in. Uh, we usually just put them on a block of wood. Do both sides and you pull your pull arms, the pins there. You pull those pins and the top link, you pull that and you drive away. Then we take it to the shop later and work on it but i don't know if we'll get to this one today it depends whatever one we want to do next this one or that one now back to looking for those uh keepers now for anybody that has these older john deers you ought to take in your toolbox and make you and take some bolts like we've done here and just drill up to the bottom in your toolbox. You can see there, see all the oil. And we just took and took some bolts and drilled up right through the bottom of it. And that's where we keep the adapters for it. For the 3010, so we know where they go. And I'm going to get back to looking right quick. Uh, this is what it's supposed to look like here. You see, I have the chain hook to this little guy here and then uh, it don't let it come off uh, I had to buy another cap because this one got lost but the same thing over here it's got the little chain that it hooks to and that it don't let it come off so I'm gonna have to as much as I really don't want to open another pack up and uh, get some out 
So this is what I was talking about earlier. Oh, we had to take this apart. Had to take this little this cover out, and there's a a uh, barrel that's supposed to go in here. The one that goes on this side is all wore out, and uh, from the hoses and everything being put in. This one over here is still good yet, so we're not going to mess with it. Um, but these are the dust caps, like I was talking about, that I wish the 7800 had. They're 7810, rather than those uh, flip-up ones, because the flip-up ones just are a pain in the butt. And this is what we have done so far. Now we moved on to the 7800 doing it took the bolts out here there's two here nuts underneath and then there's uh, bolts back here to hold this plate on here that keep this thing stationary so that's where we're at with this all right so we got this thing all back together uh, uh yeah they don't make nothing well, this was easy. Just had to get rid of this top link, and we were able to get these lines, this bottom set out here, and just take this block off without taking all three of them. Um, and the way it came out, I have to get rid of this block or chalk because the heck you gonna back over that thing and tractor ain't gonna go nowhere so well, i think i'm gonna take it down give it a well actually i'm gonna take it over to that plow unhook the hydraulics off to 3010 and we're gonna see if it'll go up and down i'm gonna put it in this hole here because this is the one that was giving us fits it would pop out the hose would pop out like on the rakes and stuff so I'm going to do that and uh, we'll see if it works. If it don't, it'll be coming back in here and we'll be doing this again. Got to take and put the plow down because if I don't, it will, it won't, the hydraulic hose won't come out and I'll just have a heck of a time trying to get it to come out. And It'll just be a pain in the butt. Ooh, look at that new co that new uh, cover. Ooh, would you look at that? All right, so let me take this adapter off and get it plugged in there. Well, it stays. Good deal. Let's go try it. See, I think it'll work. And I'm pretty sure it'll work. See, it's a short one here. Put all of them in float while we were working on it. Cool. Now I want to see if theory is right. You put the thing in float, you should be able to take it out no problem. You should. Let's see. Oh yeah, it comes out ever so easy. Well, I'm happy. Well, that was yet a fun yet interesting project. If you guys would like more just like it or anything else, please hit that subscribe button, comment, rate, and like. I think that's what rating is. Thanks for watching.